nothing in there, but happy hello and welcome to the Glendrow Show. I am currently sitting outside on this gloomy uh, end of summer day with my boy Moosey Moose. I have this cup and I have these Thai chili peppers that are very, um, there's a lot of them and we need to pick them and put them in this cup. I know it's super exciting. Um, we have various peppers going on here. We've got cow horns that are, don't eat those, that are not really ready to be picked yet. Got some red hot lilies over here, also not ready to be picked yet. We have a couple ghost peppers that we can probably grab while we're out here, and we have Carolina Reapers. We have a couple left, but they are also not. These are Phillips peppers, but I'm working from home this week because of a <laughs> driving mishap. So I'm out of the vehicle at the moment. I'm gonna get it back at the end of this week. Moose! <laughs> What are you doing, bud? Um, but anyway, I'm taking a little break. Just a little step away from my computer. And Philip mentioned this morning that these boys need to be picked, so I'm doing that right now. Oh. Oops. Our neighbors across the street have a bunch of dogs and they're just staring me down and Moose is staring them down and it's really funny. I only have Moose out here with me because River likes to run away from me. And I've already dealt with that once today and I'm just not about not about that life, so. How old are you now, Moose? Hmm? Let's see, I don't even know like what it is, what day it is. September 18th, July, August, September. You're three months old today-ish. <gasps> my baby boy is three months old. Gosh, my baby boy. Three months old, you're doing so good, you're growing so big. Can I kiss? Oh, thank you. I think that I'm gonna title this video Picking Peppers with My Puppy. Ew, something's going on in my mouth. Gross, please. I don't think this is going to be a very long video. Ooh. What the heck is that? Is that a caterpillar? <laughs> what did I just touch? Okay. That was weird. I just like grabbed it. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's another one. Okay, so there's like a caterpillar right here, I think, and then another one right there. What the heck? Oh my gosh. These are freaking me out. They're so big. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm stressed right now. This has me stressed out. I can't. <laughs> They've just been chilling here the whole time and I've just been picking peppers and then all of a sudden I just like touched one. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're probably like on all of these and I'm just like touching them. What? Okay, there's another one. <gasps> what? Okay, we have one right here, two, three. Okay, I can't handle whatever these things are. I think they're caterpillars, but like it, they don't look like caterpillars. Just like, they just blend in. Like how did I not, <sighs> they're not even like moving. They're just chilling there. Okay, so it's been a minute. I've calmed down. I know what those things are now. I don't feel any better about it at all. I sent pictures to Philip because I was like, listen dude, I'm never picking your peppers ever again. He was like, oh, those are probably just 
tomato hornworms because, you know. So I looked it up. We're gonna have a little biology lesson. <laughs> Let's look at images here. Oh good, you can buy hornworms. That's great because I totally want more of these. I don't. They are caterpillars. They're a type of caterpillar. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting, right? So this right here is what those little guys are going to turn into. Now, fun fact, we actually, these are like giant moths. Okay, not giant. I mean, they're pretty big. We had one on our window the other day, and I was just like, oh my gosh, this moth is huge. And I took a picture of it. She's upset because the mailman is out there. So, that's what was on our window, right? That's what those green things are going to turn into. So, if you look here, that's exactly what is on that little guy outside. So I'm thinking, what the heck is growing on my little caterpillar buds and what is infecting them? Like, that's rude, but also I don't like these caterpillars. So I looked it up here. These eggs belong to wasps. Wasps. I did a little bit of more research. I'm going to go to this website because this is where I went when I was doing this research. So this is the University of Minnesota Veg Edge. I'm guessing this is just like articles about things in the garden. Uh, anyway. So go down here, you go down here. Here we go. So basically these wasps lay eggs on these tomato hornworms and the larva for the wasps like eat on the inside of the caterpillar and then these little white things that appear are their cocoons for the wasp so then when the wasp is like born and or born when it like becomes a wasp out of its cocoon it kills the hornworm so there's like this entire ecosystem out there in this little Thai chili pepper plant and basically the moral of the story is I'm never picking peppers again and now we have to move because there are bugs outside. I guess like I could probably have a degree now on um, tomato hornworms. Yeah, okay. Please don't have nightmares about caterpillars. I feel like the wasp thing should like bother me more, but like I touched the caterpillar. Like that thing was so big. Like. And I couldn't tell what it was because like I'm used to caterpillars being like little and like fuzzy, which like also I don't like, but this thing was so, so big. Like it was just there. Like this was gross. It was educational. So this is now an educational channel. Um, I hope to see you in class next week and yeah, bye.